Hello everyone, welcome to Healing Moon Tarot. Uh, this is for uh, the rest of July for Cancer. How are you guys? So first I will do the top row will be uh, your money, the next your uh, love life or your relationships. Uh, the next energy is bringing it all together and anything else you need to know. So let's start with your money Cancer. What does Cancer need to know about their money? Their money. Ooh. All right. I see some judgment or decision. Eight air. So I feel somebody here is likely working a lot. Rinse and repeat. So they're about to make a decision. Some of you could actually get a call. <laughs> uh huh. That gets you in your head. But it looks like a decision is needs to be made here with somebody who's working a lot. Rinse and repeat. Yeah, this is someone enjoying the fruits of their labor. Uh, this is, looks like a single person, but it's just a person, I feel, who already has everything they need, but yet they keep working. <laughs> uh -huh. It's about planning, preparing ahead, but you can see this is somebody looking at this. Yeah. Rinse and repeat. Work, work, work. Some kind of decision. The call, the judgment. Let's see where that goes. Yeah, this is someone here definitely enjoying the fruits of the labor. This is someone who has everything they need, but <laughs> uh -huh. too much work. Someone here is, you know, definitely somebody here who is at work is often in their head too, maybe even thinking of other things. Someone who's single. Let's have a look at the call. Oops, nothing came out. Let's have a look at the call, the judgment. Yeah, so it's an energy of the Four of Pentacles. Someone here, it's about saving money. So someone here is definitely saving money, uh, feel, but it's also someone who's focusing a lot on money. So it's somebody here who's single. So I do feel someone here, rinse and repeat, all they do is work and save money. And they're trying to hold on to money too. Yeah, so we have someone here tempering that. So it's an energy of just kind of looking at things different, seeing things a little different here. So, yeah, I feel as someone who's ready to do something different, too, because it's like they're in this energy of, you know, feeling kind of stuck in a habit, a pattern of all work, no play, and also single. But, yeah, I mean, you can see someone's doing well financially. Cancer, masculine or feminine. Yeah, someone here, I feel they're, you know, I feel this is someone who's stable. This could be someone who's a business owner. All they do is work, work, work. Cancer, masculines, feminines, yeah. But I do feel someone here is definitely kind of stuck in single mode because of that too. But I see someone, you know, saving their money. It's an energy of judgment, the decision to save, to not spend. See, somebody, and I feel someone is, isn't is spending a lot of money, but they're still, you know, comfortable. Someone's very comfortable. It has to do with a home. I feel a business owner for some of you, but it's an energy of becoming stable. Or someone may be thinking it's time to change to become a business owner. Or maybe work from home, doing something from home. Yeah, someone's pinned down by their thoughts. <laughs> stuck in their head, feeling pinned down, feeling stuck. Yeah. Wow. Someone's And I, I honestly, I feel there's a cancer who's thinking about their love life too. They're thinking about someone. But I see the birth of something new. Uh, see, this is energy of trying something new, something different. I feel someone's thinking of doing something from home. Yeah. Feeling comfortable. I feel this person's stable, but like I say, all they do is work. They're kind of stuck in a loop. Let's grab. Let's have a look at this empress. See, it's someone trying something different, a different idea. <laughs> yeah, we got a person doing some soul searching. You know, looking for clues and answers and soul searching a decision here. Yeah, let's have a look at temperance. Yeah, this is the moon. It's feeling a little confused, Cancer. Feeling a little confused, not so sure, but it's about trying something different. It comes with a little fear, you know, because someone here, I feel, it has to do with stability. I feel somebody wants to partner up with someone too, possibly, maybe even partnering up with someone. But the moon here, Cancer, I feel a little confusion. Something feels a little off. You're not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I do see the mother of swords. 
So this energy of someone thinking this through, tempering their thoughts. See, someone's pinned down by their thoughts a little here. Just like I say to do with work, I see someone who has everything they need, but I mean, it could be a business owner too. And again, it comes to the judgment, the decision. There's some kind of decision that a big, this is a big decision that has to do with someone's life path, the path they've been on. All they do is work and they have everything they need, but yeah, I mean, it's about choosing a new path, trying something different. I do think possibly working from home. I see, you know, someone thinking this through. It has to do with someone, you know, maybe learning something new, trying something different. Could be someone getting advice from someone because they're confused. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a mystery here, you know, like what to do, trying something different. Yeah, someone tempering their thoughts. You know, just trying to get out of their head here. It's an energy of someone who's just needing to be patient. I see a, a kind of a head and heart decision here. Yeah. I think the decision is going to be to do something from home. Uh, someone's thinking of doing something from home. Or it's some of you becoming your own, uh, your own business, a home-based business, or literally partnering up with someone else. Someone here is single. They want also want a partner. So this is where I feel. I mean, cancer... Um, masculine or feminine i mean really but i do see a feminine energy the birth of something new creative pursuit ideas see someone here is feeling a little unsure but really it's about trying something different and i see this person here who you know i don't know it could be reconciliation but i feel it's just a really big life path choice decision this is someone who's been on this path saving money holding on to their money uh, work 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 oh just the thought of it makes me tired let's have a look at judgment yeah see it has to do with someone being strong their inner strength somebody here it's an energy of someone making a decision they're confident with so i do see some of you are confident with the decision to try something different just pulling in all that inner strength something from home or partnering up with someone wow so you know that uh, when you, you get this, you know, we've got a little Virgo energy here, and we have some Empress, which is Taurus, so something tells me partnering up with somebody. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at your love life. Cancer, what is it with your love life? What is it you need to know? Yeah, I do see Messenger of Fire. Someone here, I feel, this is an energy of someone who's in a hurry. Someone feels like they need to hurry up here. But it's about an energy of someone who's trying to rush through something here. But it's also an energy of someone here who needs to temper that need to rush a decision. Don't rush this decision. It's a balance between head and heart. It's about being patient. Okay. Yeah, so I do, I do see this per, somebody tempting somebody to try something different too, to partner up or, you know, feeling tempted to uh, bring somebody else into maybe a business here. But someone here is definitely, I mean, it's an energy of a stability. Yeah, someone's in their feelings. We have messenger of fire, messenger of water. There's going to be some communication. You know, somebody's in their feelings here, but it's an energy of uh, somebody wanting to date somebody. Somebody wants, somebody feels like they need to hurry up. They want to talk to someone. They want to ask them out. Yeah. And I feel there's going to be a lot of talk about work. It's going to tie together. It's about building something, building a business, a home-based business, possibly, or just teaming up. Yeah. Saying to trust your intuition. You may know who this is thinking of you. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you have the answers within yourself because it has to do with, you know, um, building something here it takes two people to build but i do see it you know someone here at this messenger of fire you know, this is often someone who kind of worries a little bit they feel they need to hurry but it's saying don't hurry just kind of go with the flow let those let that energy flow those thoughts flow but i feel you know there's an energy of someone who wants to ask somebody out they want to talk my goodness yeah i feel like you might know who this is cancer unless it's yourself saying to just tr trust your own intuition you already know okay the answers you're seeking and it could be just like i say wanting to do something you love but if you are looking for someone to partner up with you know this is a takes two people to build something here 
Yeah, it's about building, perfecting the craft skills that could require learning something new. I'm going to use this deck. It's a little bit clearer for relationship energy. Let's have a look at the messenger of fire. I see a lot of talk here. Yeah, so I we have the moon energy, Cancer. See, feeling confused? Some of you might just ask advice for someone here. You might just ask them for some advice. If you know somebody who works from home or a home-based business, because I feel there's some sort of confusion. Things that are hidden, some things are a mystery. But, you know, I, I feel we got someone in their feelings here. <laughs> Someone's in their feelings. Yeah, you see someone in a hurry. They feel like they need to hurry up. This energy of the sense of needing to hurry. But I see multiple opportunities, someone becoming a little overwhelmed. So this is someone who could be building a business. They're overwhelmed. They're working too much. You see, that's why I feel sometimes partnering up. And we have the three of wands. So it's an energy of someone just waiting. See, it's saying to be patient, to just wait. Someone's waiting for a situation, waiting for communication. So okay, they could be waiting for you or you're waiting for someone else. This high priestess energy. Mm -hmm. And I threw your card on the floor. <laughs> So there we have it. Yeah, someone here, it has to do with someone uh, just kind of waiting. Because I feel if somebody rushes into making any kind of choice or decision, they might regret it. Someone has some unfounded fears too. Like I see, a lot of stress and anxiety here. Someone's anxious. Someone's a little afraid to reach out to talk to someone here. Because there's, there's this mystery, this confusion, hidden emotions. This is someone doing a little shadow work, <laughs> having to face that fear. Yeah, of approaching someone talking. But we got a person who's just waiting. While they're waiting, they're just focusing on work. It's probably yourself. Let's have a look at that three of wands. Why is it here? It's a situation going to come to fruition. All in right, the right time. And yeah, eight of wands. See, it's a someone waiting for communication. I see multiple opportunities, things having f fast. Someone here feeling overwhelmed. That's what I feel. Okay, so... Like I say, it's about not rushing into a decision. It's saying to wait patiently out of the tower. Sudden communication, epiphany, it's happening suddenly. It's more what happens is when a communication comes in out of the blue. But I feel it has to do with not rushing. Okay? Because I feel someone's feeling a little overwhelmed. They may rush in and rush out. So and it could be someone who has some kind of regrets for doing that too. They could have been just busy and overwhelmed. But let's have a look at the Nine of Swords. Yeah, we got the Father of Cups. So someone here, it's a Cancer energy, masculine. Could be Scorpio or Pisces, but it's an energy of a masculine here. See, feeling very emotional, maybe having some kind of regret. But I do feel someone got overwhelmed. Okay, now it could be to do with anything, but they feel like they need to hurry up. Tell me about this communication. What's this communication? Somebody wants to ask this person out. Like, And this is somebody falling for somebody hard. The tower. <laughs> That's what I feel is happening. It's somebody who did that and then they got overwhelmed emotionally. Yeah, so it's an energy of somebody who walked away. But I do feel someone's still waiting for that communication. It's going to happen suddenly. It's just a sudden shock, surprise. Yeah, it's the start of something here. This is that communication coming in. It has to do with commitment. Okay, it has to do with committing to something. Someone's been waiting for this. But it's also someone who kind of feels the ship has sailed. You know, it's too late. That's what this person feels. It's too late. And they need to hurry now. But this person's really in their feelings, whether it's, you know, yourself or someone else here. Yeah, Father of Pentacles. So we have someone who's stable. This is someone who wants to partner up. They're stable. So this is someone who's now stable, but they have regrets for rushing in, uh, getting o emotionally overwhelmed and running away, possibly. Yeah. But it's this is somebody coming in with something stable, a stable offer. It's going to create change, change for the better. Wow. We have the Six of Pentacles. So I do see this energy of, of communication coming in. Someone being more generous. See, this is someone who's often generous with their time, their energy, their love. They're stable now. They're financially stable. So it ties into with somebody who is 
working a lot, doing the same thing over and over again. Somebody here can't stop thinking about something here. And I do feel they're soul searching. So just a person in that hermit mode, just kind of looking for clues. I really feel someone wants to partner up, but I feel it has to do with someone, you know, making this. There's a feminine energy here, the mother of swords, the feminine. Somebody here being very wise. This is someone tempering their thoughts, see, being wise, just kind of calming down. It could be someone giving someone advice, telling them just calm down. <laughs> It'll come to you <laughs> when it's meant to, yeah, for the money, but it all ties together. Yeah, so this is, a, like I say, it's an energy of tempering those thoughts, calming down, watching those words, and just thinking it through. Yeah, someone feels like they need to hurry, but the other person's kind of, like I say, feeling overwhelmed or just too busy. Yeah, we have an emperor. We have somebody coming in with an emperor energy. So see, this is somebody who's very stable, but yet they keep working. Why does this person keep working? This is someone who could probably retire. You know, there's I see a legacy, something long term, but it's about two people who look out for each other's best interest. This is why I this is what someone feels if they partner up with someone. You know, it's an energy, but I do feel we have someone here who's more confident than the other person. And that's what I feel is happening with this love energy. But this person is definitely um, stable, okay, financially. They're planning and preparing for the future. They've been preparing. Someone's been preparing themselves. Mm-hmm. See, contracts, negotiation, but preparing themselves for commitment. But it has to do with having faith. This is a person who needs to have faith in the path that they're on. So, yeah, it's a, like I say, it's somebody here needing to make a head and heart decision. It's the balance between the two. But we have this emperor who is in this energy. So we have a masculine and feminine. We have a feminine up here and a masculine energy down here. So this is where I feel. We got two people kind of thinking the same thing here. Two people thinking about each other. Two people who all, are all work, no play. Yeah, there's the start of something new. So I do feel someone's coming in here. Like I say, it's somebody going through a lot of stress, anxiety. And I know people who work a lot often work in their sleep. They have a hard time resting, hard time sleeping. So this is where I feel. But I do see some regret. Somebody regrets rushing in or rushing out. So I feel the sun is shining, a little Leo energy. It has to do with someone who has... See, we have a feminine who has faith in themselves. Okay, to make the right choice. But it has to do with commitment. It has to do with somebody committing. It's the start of something new. So this is really nice energy. Let's just have a look at the moon. Yeah, this is energy of confusion. See, something needs to be cleared up. Where everything needs to be out in the open. The sun is shining. Things are calm. Yeah, seven of pentacles. See, it has to do with investing. This is someone here hoping this pays off, but they're feeling a little confused. This is someone who's, you know, like I say, this is somebody who just has that uh, anxiety, you know, a uh, lot of unfounded fears about whether someone will invest or not, or whether they're invested in someone else. Yeah, see, it has to do with the Ten of Pentacles partnering up. Somebody wants a partner. They want to partner up, but it has to do with the fear that it may not, you know, it might not work out. Yeah, because Seven of Pentacles, it takes investment, emotional investment, you know, financial investments. But it's about partnering up. Yeah, we have, there's some very good news. I see positive news. Somebody could be getting advice from someone too. That's what it almost looks like. Someone's telling a person to just calm down, okay? Maybe sleep on it and just, you know, it'll look different in the morning and make a decision. I, I really feel we got two people thinking the same thing. So that's what's interesting. But I do see some kind of news and getting together, friends and family. I feel somebody here doesn't know if someone's started something new. It's a bit of a mystery. Someone's trying to figure out the mystery. If someone started something new. Now, it could be someone looking on someone's... See, something is hidden with the moon. Things aren't clear. So I do feel this is where things get complicated. Okay, so it's an energy of something being complicated or hidden. Um, where somebody here may be hiding their social media. Someone's trying to find out something. But I do see someone giving advice, friends and family. Um, 
Yeah, we have the chariot. This is somebody here. It has to do with being determined to have success. See, someone's determined. Cancer, again, charging forward, but someone's putting on the brakes. Someone put on the brakes. They got kind of confused and over-emotionally whelmed, or they just had too much going on. Yeah, something with the communication. Yeah, I see the magician. This is someone who has everything they need. This is someone who looks to see what someone brings to the table, but we have this person waiting. See, while they're waiting, they're focused on work. Someone feels the ship has sailed. That's why they need. they feel like they need to hurry up. The emperor feels like they need to hurry up. <laughs> the magician, the, the feminine here is open, soul searching, open to other offers, opportunities. It could be somebody who works at home. I do see the feminine energy as someone who works at home, but it's like you know, rinse and repeat, work, work, work. And I think we got two people like that. Yeah, there it is again, the empress. Yeah, this is open for something new, new ideas for work. <laughs> the empress is always open for new ideas the empress tempers their emotions though the empress is balanced and that's what i feel this emperor is becoming more balanced they have everything they need that's that this person realizing with the magician they have everything they need but love and they're manifesting this this new beginning they're manifesting money they're in a hurry now uh, they're working yeah and we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is someone longing for love, maybe even missing somebody here. I do see the possibility of reconciliation. But I got to tell you, the work. For those of you who are Cancer Suns, you have somebody who may have uh, Cancer Moon, Rising Venus, or something like that. Because I'm sensing both people have some Cancer in their chart. I'm also seeing Leo, a lot of pride. Someone takes great pride in the things that they do. You know, their business, their work ethic, things like that. So someone's made some very good choices, decisions, and investments here. But it's still, they still work. They're still planning for the future <laughs> when they have everything they need. This is also somebody here who, you know, same energy. Yeah, the high priestess. See, this is someone, tr or yeah, the high priestess, someone trusting their intuition, their inner knowing. They already know the answers they're seeking. This is someone who knows, okay, and what this other person brings to the table. So I feel that full steam ahead. They're determined to come in. They want to start something. They want to get this going before somebody moves on and starts something else. And it has to do with relationships, but I also see work. So... Yeah, we have the Father of Swords. This is someone here who now has faith that they're making the right choice. See, they're thinking this has to do with truth. They want to start something. But I see someone searching for truth too. Mm -hmm. So I see happiness and joy here. I see someone having faith in themselves. They, have, You know, it has to do with committing. But I do see, you know, maybe a little bit of a negotiation here. <laughs> It has to go in both people's favor. But like I say, as far as relationships, somebody may be thinking prenup too. Yeah. So, like I say, it's so someone who works. It's their habit, their lifestyle, the way they are. This is two people who are the same. So crazy energy. Yeah, see a wheel of fortune, whole new cycle. A windfall of abundance, good luck, and right timing. So it has to do with the timing maybe wasn't right for someone here. But the time is right now because they have, they're the emperor, they're logical, they're wise, they're 100% deci they're decisive, they're confident, they're making the right choice. So beautiful. Yeah, this is all about good luck and right timing. So yeah, we have the feminine, the mother of cups. So cancer, that could be yourself. You might put on the brakes and take another look. If you were confused about what happened with this person, you're going to get the truth. They're going to tell you the truth. Okay. With the feminine energy here, you can see that Mother of Cups, Cancer, Pisces. I see Cancer um, um, and Pisces energy here. So it could go either way. But this is somebody here who wants love. Somebody who's emotionally available, mature. Yeah. But it's somebody here has been waiting. And now, you know, the, the feminine here has been waiting for this emperor and they want them to hurry up. And they may be feeling, you know, the ship has sailed. This person's not going to come. So 
but I, I feel like this the masculine is coming in to speak truth about the wheel of fortune some kind of truth there may have been some secrets things are hidden mystery and confusion so it's clearing up confusion coming out of that fog so this is really interesting for your love life whoever this is they're in a hurry like they are definitely in a hurry you know i can see their energy but i also see somebody secrets mystery there's something that needs to be cleared up and now we have the ten of cups see this is both people putting all their cups on the table laying it on the line speaking the truth happiness this is someone who sees the bigger picture happy home happy life partnering up this is really really nice for you cancer <laughs> let's grab the rest of these yeah I, I see it you know someone seeing the bigger picture you want to be happy i feel like you're going to be the feminine is going to be emotionally fulfilled but the the masculine is coming in to speak truth and they're they have faith in themselves to make the right decision see they have faith but it could be somebody who wasn't faithful possibly in the past maybe in a relationship and they want to clear it up it's like they want someone wants to get something off their chest but i feel the the confusion is more about um, someone's emotions where it was happening too fast somebody hears fast the other person is just going with the flow we have a person who was ready to you know make some kind of commitment where the other person's like no i'm not ready i'm still in dating mode so it has to do with doing things in a traditional manner see it has to do with tradition i feel there's this is beautiful though i see happiness and joy this person feels happy with the decision they're making they see the bigger picture the timing is right the timing is now they're ready to act so really nice let's have a look at where are we at here there we go let's pull out some more cards now this is um, anything else you need to know and we'll see if we can tie this all together it kind of already has like quite lovely actually <laughs> mm -hmm. someone's being patient here though the feminine's being very patient this is someone like i say they're open to offers opportunities it's also someone who wants a partner because they work too much <laughs> those two people are thinking the same thing is what i feel same things going on in your heads yeah see it's that seven of fire it's about opportunity it's about strength and power the unicorn taking opportunities when they're presented someone's trying to figure something out here yeah see someone here it has to do with confusion things that are hidden this is often you know when a situation isn't always in your best interest if it becomes confusing where someone's keeping a secret or hiding something or you just don't know i actually see the mystery of the empress the empress is being mysterious uh, maybe close their social media because <laughs> i see that hiding it keeping it hidden and someone here wants to know what the other person's up to yeah see it's someone here it's a person searching for something walking away because it was confusing someone walked away because they were confused either emotionally or there was some sort of confusing communication yeah it's often with that queen of swords someone cutting someone out because of it took a lot of strength somebody wasn't confident they didn't come in confident now, the communication was confusing so but see someone walking away it's not emotionally fulfilling it's confusing there's hid things hidden now we have the emperor yeah it's an energy of two people really searching for the same thing but it's about the confusion the things that are hidden the mystery this is the emperor wanting to discover more but they need to you know it has to do with truth speaking truth it has to do with being logical mm-hmm I tell you if it's confusing someone's going to walk away but it's an energy of searching someone's searching for an emperor they they want an emperor someone who's ready they're confident they know what they want and that's what i feel someone here didn't know what they wanted they were confused and the other person's like well <laughs> if they're confused then you know there's no point in sticking around see it has to do with cooperating compromise and compatibility there's things that need to be acknowledged that are hidden secrets mystery confusion needs to be acknowledged okay so i feel both of you were probably confused to some point it has to do with how you're communicating it has to do with the communication itself with the magician 
See, someone may have felt someone was manipulating or they're up to something, but it's actually a person who's having that realization too that they have everything they need. They already knew what this person brought to the table. I don't know what the confusion was about. I mean, we have someone who's regretting or they're just under a lot of stress and anxiety with work. And that's what I see, working. Feeling overwhelmed, too much happening. Yeah, there's that tower. See, the massive epiphany. This is the tower coming down because somebody got angry, lost patience, and walked away. But this is someone searching. See, there's baggage here, releasing baggage. Just something weighing heavily. Someone working a lot. They have a lot on their plate. Somebody here crashed and burned, like literally, emotionally too. Yeah. But you can see that epiphany about the things you have in common uh, and the need to acknowledge what this, what all happened with that communication. Uh, the emperor. Tell me about this emperor. What does this emperor want? Yeah, the emperor's single. See, this is somebody here. They're single. Someone's releasing a lot of baggage too. They're releasing all this baggage. Someone's been doing some shadow work too here. Yeah, releasing that fear. See, this is somebody who became very stressed, a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of unfounded fears, but things need to be cleared up. I do see things changing. I see better because the sun is shining, but it's somebody here who's worried someone's going to get away and start something new. We have two single people who both have everything they need, but love. So this is quite the reading. Yeah, it's an energy of um, someone having faith, the high priest. It's a hierophant, has to do with um, commitment. Someone's letting go of some baggage. It's also an energy of, with some, you know, the realization. It's an, be nice to have someone who pulled their weight in a relationship. Someone may have gotten into a relationship with someone who didn't, and they enjoyed the fruits of the other person's labor. And that's often a very common energy. So that person becomes fearful of commitment again because they've worked hard. They've been working and working nonstop. Uh, but I feel it's both people. And I, I feel both people are in that energy. But it has, to ha it has to do with two people being on the same page. It has to do with the things you have in common, the need to cooperate and compromise. See, this is somebody who didn't want to compromise something. They weren't willing to compromise. So the other person is started to feel very confused. And, you know, there was things that weren't being acknowledged. The other person wanted acknowledged. So the tower came down. There's that tower. See, somebody just literally, you know, you can see the top's blown right off this thing. Someone may have lost their temper or just freaked out. But yeah, there's a lot of baggage, but it's being released. This has to do with somebody here searching for someone who's reliable. See, this is somebody who wasn't reliable. They're searching for someone dependable. I also see someone having trouble finding people who are reliable and dependable in a workplace situation. You see, it has to do with um, this is somebody who doesn't have faith in other people. So they just kind of, this isn't a delegate and disappear. And I actually feel both people are in that situation, unable to find reliable help when it comes to work. But it also has to do with being reliable in relationships. Tell me about that Ten of Wands. Yeah, see, it's an energy of lack and loneliness. See, this is somebody who has that, they have little panic attacks, I feel, about being left out in the cold, fear of abandonment, or not having enough money if someone doesn't pull their weight and enjoys the fruits and labor of someone else's work. I, I could guarantee somebody would be looking for a prenup in this situation, but I see a negotiation, two people negotiating. Yeah, we have someone here who's putting on the brakes and taking another look. It has to do with someone who's determined to have success. But I got to tell you, um, some of you, the masculine, I mean, it has to do with some sort of truth. They're seeing this. And they're seeing the bigger picture. Happy home, happy life. The couple that work together, stay together energy. I think this person had somebody who didn't pull their weight and left them without anything, you know, abandoned them, left them without any money after they did all the work. So that's why I feel we got someone who has that fear. But the chariot tells me someone here is taking back their power, taking control. 
you know, determined to be successful. Yeah, you see, it has to do with the power, the need to let go of control. This is someone who's afraid to let go of control, to delegate work to someone else because they have no one reliable. This is someone who always worried they don't have enough money. The things you have in common, two people here who always worry they don't have enough money, but they do. But this is two people coming together with their skills. These are two people who have skills. You put those skills together and you team up and you go down this path. So someone's kind of going, having this massive epiphany and they're looking at this. They're looking at those pentacles. They're looking into the future and they're, they're thinking about this. Yeah, they want to start something new. I feel this is someone who's ready for new. I feel both people, they're confident. But like I say, they're putting on the brakes and they're taking another look. A lot of unfounded fear because look where they're at. They're still at the King of Pentacles. They haven't lost anything. To me, it looks like they had a partner who wasn't reliable or dependable. They couldn't rely on them or they can't reliable work. They're always searching. But this person has everything they need. So there's so much happiness and joy. They're now. This is someone who's now ready to for their love life to start something. But I still feel it's about partnering up in a new idea to do with something from working from home, okay? A part, some sort of partnership. It's about building something. So really interesting. I wish you the best here, Cancers. I, it's all over here too. <laughs> I see the emotional energy, the confusion. When things are confusing, that's when someone often puts on the brakes, whether they're the one creating the confusion or the other person is confused and they put on the brakes. You see, that's what's happening here. The chariot's here twice. This is somebody who's determined that this is successful. Full steam ahead. They're planning on staying on course. They want to get something going with you. So I wish you the very best here. Take care and we'll see you soon.